Have you heard about havening techniques? Imagine a therapy that could help you erase the emotional impact of traumatic memories simply by using gentle touch, eye movements and the power of visualization. Imagine a new method for helping people with mental health struggles, trauma and everyday anxiety. Havening is incredibly powerful, yet so simple to use. Anyone can apply these techniques, especially for managing daily stress through self-havening. And in today's video, I will teach you the protocol. Hey, it's Monika, your intuitive trauma transformation coach who helps you face and successfully navigate through the storms of life by guiding you through a most powerful self-healing process and teaching you all the mindfulness tools you need to embark on your journey to your core self and create the life you've always envisioned. For the past 30 years, the Rudin brothers, both doctors, have conducted in extensive research to develop the most effective technique for addressing trauma. Havening is based on brain science and helps people heal by using the understanding of how the brain works. It involves stimulating chemicals in the brain like serotonin and dopamine which help control mood and emotions. Havening also takes advantage of the brain's ability to change and form new connections. This allows the brain to recode traumatic memories, making them less emotionally painful. Havening also stimulates delta brain waves, which are associated deep relaxation and the brain's healing processes. These delta waves help the brain to enter a new state where it can effectively process and diminish the impact of traumatic memories. The emotional response to trauma is largely governed by the amygdala, the brain's fear center. During a session of havening, the techniques used help to calm the amygdala, reducing its activity and thereby mitigating the fear response associated with traumatic memories. Additionally, the havening technique has been shown to lower cortisol levels the stress hormone that is often elevated in individuals experiencing anxiety and trauma. By reducing cortisol levels, havening promotes a state of relaxation and emotional balance. Now let's look at the immediate benefits of self-havening as a daily self-care ritual as self-havening helps lower anxiety by calming the brain and reprocessing traumatic memories, people feel more relaxed in their daily lives. If you don't have time and money for long-term therapy, self-havening can be used as an alternative to cognitive behavioral therapy and counseling because it can improve mental health symptoms so quickly. Self-havening can help manage depression by releasing serotonin and dopamine, which we um, see, have seen before improve mood quickly. Self-havening can ease chronic pain and improve overall comfort by addressing the emotional and mental stress that often cause it. Many people sleep better after self-havening because it reduces anxiety, lowers our blood pressure, 
and relieve stress, leading to better sleep quality and duration. Before I explain the process, please quickly click on subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit the bell as well. All right, first of all, we set the scene by finding a quiet, comfortable place where we won't be disturbed. Then we start with some deep breathing to calm our mind and body. Inhaling deeply through our nose, holding for a few seconds and then exhaling slowly through our mouth and holding for a few seconds again. You can use box breathing. You know, inhaling, counting to four, holding for four seconds, exhaling, counting to four, holding for four seconds. I consider it as the simplest breathing technique of all. Visualization can support your breath work as well, like imagining your inhale washing over you like a gentle wave and your exhale carrying negative and upsetting thoughts and energy away from you. With every exhale, you can use words like calm, peace, safe relaxed, etc. Just like we usually do in EFT tapping, we think about the emotion, stress or experience we want to address. We don't need to relive the event, just acknowledging our emotions, knowing that it's okay to feel what we feel. Then we rate our distress on a scale between 0 and 10, where 0 is nothing at all and 10 is extreme. Close your eyes and let's start applying the havening touch. Lightly wrap your upper arms from shoulders to elbows. Then wrap your palms together or gently stroke the back of your hands. And then pretend washing your face in the most loving manner. Visualize walking up a staircase, counting each step from one to 20 out loud. As you go up, Picture yourself feeling calmer and more peaceful with your distress fading away with every step you take. On reaching the count of 20, start moving your eyes in an infinity eight pattern, switching directions. And don't forget to breathe regularly while moving your eyes. Now open your eyes and look at the scale again. Did the number go down? Did the stress disappear? Let's affirm. Today I choose a new beginning. Today I make a fresh start. No matter what the circumstances of my past, I choose today to leave them behind. What I have in this moment is my power to choose and I choose to begin anew. Now is the only time I have. I remember this today and embrace each moment with authentic presence and true gratitude. What is past is past, gone forever, but today this moment I can choose to embrace. Today I begin a new chapter in the book of my life. I turn a new page. I begin anew. I seize this moment. And the next, and the next, I choose to live one moment at a time. In this way, I begin to realize 
that today can become the first day of the best of my life. Today I choose a new beginning. Please share with me in the comments box below how you feel. If you like this exercise, can you imagine using it regularly when you feel anxious or overwhelmed? I'd love to hear from you. Like always, peace begins with me. Namaste, namaste. And remember, you deserve to break free and live your magic every day. Bye.